Hey everyone, Tina Steele here, the FAFSA guru, and just wanted to come on and talk to you about uh, scholarships because we're getting ready to enter the busiest scholarship deadline season of the whole year. January through April is when the majority of scholarship deadlines are. Um, so now is the time you really should be gearing up and searching for these scholarships. So I wanted to share three places with you to look for them that you might not have thought of. So the first is your job, uh, where you work, and the bank that you do banking with. A lot of people don't even realize that their employer offers scholarships for themselves or dependents if they're attending college. And it's the same with banks, local banks and credit unions. A lot of them have scholarships in place. So check with your employer and the local bank. Um, not necessarily that you just bank with, but local banks in your community, a lot of times they will offer scholarships for people who live who live in that particular town. So that's number one. Number two is your state's higher education agency. Every state has a higher education agency that houses information about financial aid and the college planning process to help families. All you have to do is Google whatever your state is and then say higher education agency after that. So for me, I would do Maine, Maine Higher Education Agency, and it's going to pull up the resource for you. Some states have better resource listings than others, um, but go there and look when you get to their website, just navigate to the scholarship section if you can find it. If you can't, a quick way to do it is just up in the search bar, uh, type in scholarships, and it should bring you right to the directory of scholarships that are available for residents of that state. Uh, there's a lot there and a lot of people don't realize that they're kind of missing out on all these resources that are available just by being a resident of that particular state. So that's number two. Number three is once the student gets admitted to college and makes a decision on where they're going to go, which is happening now for some students that have applied early action, you want to check directly through the college that you plan on attending because they actually have a whole other resource listing of scholarships available for students that are attending their institution. And it's usually housed in the admissions or advising office in addition to the actual academic department that you're planning on studying. Uh, so like if you're a business major or an engineering major, check with the engineering and the business department for scholarships specifically for students that are pursuing that degree within that university. They're going to have a huge resource listing too. So um, I realize some of you are still kind of going through the admissions process right now and that's fine, but just kind of tuck this away and keep it in mind for when you do make a decision to look at those colleges. Some of them even have a portal where you sign in, sign in as a student and can search for a whole bunch of scholarships that way. So that's three places, your employer and the bank that you bank with, that's one, your state higher education agency is two, and then the college that you decide to attend is three. And remember, January through April is when most of the deadlines are for scholarships. So these next few months are gonna be really important for applying for them to help you get additional money to go to college. Scholarship money does go unused every year. And remember the tip that I, I've shared in some of my other videos, Focus on the scholarships that are $3,000 and less because those are the ones that really go unused and are less competitive. Everybody's applying for the $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 a year scholarships because they want to get the best bang for their buck. Um, so that's it. And oh, just a reminder, the FAFSA Guru Financial Aid Academy is now live. It only costs $15 a month for you to join. It's um, a membership site where I'm uploading resources every single month to help you navigate the overwhelming college um, financial aid process. I'm, and it includes scholarship information, so that alone is, is worth it just to sign up. Uh, $15 a month for the first 100 people, and I'm actually down to less than 20 spots for that reduced rate. Uh, it is gonna go up um, quite a bit after I get 100 people sign up. So make sure you jump on. There's a video um, on my YouTube channel about it, and I'll also, if I post this video on my social media, put a link underneath it um, for that. So hope this video helped you all. Happy scholarship searching.